please welcome Bill McKibben. It's not carbon dioxide that rules the day, it's money. 
Many of you are in the District of Columbia for the first time and it looks clean and it looks sparkling. No, this city, this city, this city is as polluted as Beijing. But instead of coal smoke, it's polluted by money. Money. But just like with physics and chemistry, there's no use whining. We know now what we need to do, and the first thing we need to do is build a movement. We will never have as much money as the oil companies, so we need a different currency to work in. We need bodies, we need creativity, we need spirit. demonstrations in 189 nations. CNN called it the most widespread political activity in the planet's history. But, but it needs to get bigger still. On the first Earth Day in 1970, there were 20 million Americans in the street, one in 10 Americans. That's the kind of size we need. And so, on September 24th, we need your help. September 24th is the next big day of action. We're calling it Moving Planet. And in those 189 nations, people will be in motion. Much of it will be on bicycles, because the bicycle is one of the few tools that rich and poor both use. Target. That was good, but they were the wrong 117 nations. They were the poorest and most vulnerable nations, the most addicted nations, led by our own, weren't yet willing to bite the bullet, so that's where we've got to go to work. That work to deal with that money pollution, that work starts Monday at 10 o'clock in Lafayette Square. Across across from the White House and next to a place called the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Now, the Koch brothers, the Koch brothers are high peaks of corruption. They're high peaks, but the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is the Everest of dirty money. It boasts on its web page that it is the biggest lobby in Washington. In fact, it spends more money lobbying than the next five lobbies combined. It spent more money on politics last year than the Republican National Committee and the Democratic National Committee combined, and 94% of that went to climate deniers. We cannot stop their money, but we can strip them of their credibility. They claim to represent all American business, but they don't. 55% of their funding came from 16 companies. They don't have to say who those companies are, but it's easy to tell when you watch what they do. They spend their time lobbying to make sure the planet heats up as fast as it possibly can. They sent a legal brief to the EPA last year saying that they should take no action on climate change because if the planet warmed, humans could alter their behavior and their physiology to deal with the problem. I don't even really know what that means, alter your physiology. Grow gills? I don't know. But I tell you this. I am too old to change my physiology. 
sociology, and you all are too good looking. But I will adapt my behavior. Every day now, I will roll out of bed and go to work fighting them. Hell, I will go to bed at night and try to dream up new ways to fight. I'm sorry if that sounds aggressive, but there we are. 22 years ago, I wrote the first book about climate change, and I've gotten to watch it all, and I know that simply persuasion will not do. We need to fight. Now, we need to fight nonviolently and with civil disobedience. Come out, 
If you were a betting person, you might bet we were going to lose because so far that's what's happened. But that's not a bet you're allowed to make. The only thing that a morally awake person can do when the worst thing that ever happened is happening is try to change those odds. the century is out. Some of them may be dead from climate change before the century is out. No guarantee that we will win, but from them a complete guarantee that we will fight with everything we have. It is always an honor for me to be in those rooms. It is the greatest of honors to be with you tonight. No guarantee that we will win, but we will fight side by side as long as we've got. Thank you all so much.